What's up friends, this is Scrambled Eggs and welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to be looking at all titans ranked. We are going to be comparing them from worst, or quote unquote worst, they're all titans of course, to the best titans. So I'm also going to be giving you some tips on which weapons to use on them. Coming in at number 9, everybody saw this one coming, it is the kid. Being the worst of the titans, and is the only tier 2 titan that everybody starts off with, but... This Titan actually has pretty good mobility and pretty high health, except that it has low firepower without its ability, and the stove ability, while being strong, is not that strong. And this Titan overall doesn't have the enough to compete, and I wouldn't recommend leveling this Titan up, as it is a beginner. You should run brawling weapons or mid-range. Coming in at number 8, we have the Arthur. This is the strongest shielded bot and only one out of t uh, this is one out of two bots that actually has a physical shield out of the titans the arthur having the strongest shield which just got buffed 20 percent with the last rebalance about a year ago but sadly during that rebalance the arthur arthur got a nerf with 20 percent of its health being taken away still with that its physical shields remain strong against energy weapons which are commonly being used by enemy titans as you see by this umming using cataclysm the shields just don't care. This guy is hammering everything he got into it. And as soon as his menu got close, we can use the secondary ability, which is called Blast Wave, which has a high DPS and is able to shoot enemies away from your bot. It is good if they're trying to run under your weapon so you can't hit them. The best weapons on this are mid-range weapons, the Cataclysm Cyclone, the new Gargantuan Pentagon, and the Blind Effect weapons. You can even run Titan Shotguns if you want to go up close. This, the only problem this titan really has is low HP and the fact that it is the slowest. Coming in at number 7 is the Ao Ming. This kind of got a buff without getting a buff. How did it get a buff? It was the weapons, Lantern and Dazzler. These weapons allow it to stay back and do what it used to do best with the uh, Gendarme and Curacier. It used to just stay back and snipe from a distance, but with those weapons getting nerfed and the Ao Ming getting the least health out of all the titans, it has become kind of bad. But then, these weapons came into the picture and made this thing an absolute beast. Able to take down any titans if they're in range with this massive firepower, almost the highest uh, firepowers for all titans along with Sharanga. This is titan is able to fly forever and brings his own healing so you don't have to rely on other butts. It works with best, best, yes, best with me medium range or long range weapons. Do not use short range or shotguns on this. It is not very good. Having high uh, defense on the ground, it's actually pretty good on the ground, but it's only as tanking as a friend rear, so yeah, it's not that good on the ground. But in the air, it has high DPS, able to fly forever, and the way to use this is to shoot at your opponents when they're not focusing on you like this guy he's focusing on my friend i'm just gonna pop around and get him coming in at number six we have the sharanga the lowest ranked of all of the f tier four robots uh, i mean titans uh why is it the lowest ranked it has the highest firepower and pretty good ability with able to time people out so they can't do anything why is it the lowest here's the thing it can't exactly do much against most robots like, it can time them out, but what if they're more than its timing out range? Um, this has high firepower, is good for medium and long range, and it can even be used as a beacon defender if you drop it in at the right time with the shotguns. You can see here as it takes down a mender and a kid, but the only problem with this is that it doesn't really have that much survivability. Like, an owl, a Muramets flies up, it's got really nothing to do. But, aside from all of those weaknesses, it is a very strong titan. Has the most firepower out of all the titans, and actually, its abilities are kind of underrated. See, this Ares was about to open all of its firepower on my friend, and I just timed him out. He can't do anything. And after he's coming out, we've killed him. Coming in at number 5. Who do you think it is? It's the newest member to all of the titans, the Heimdall. Uh, I'm using the scavenger Heimdall here. Nobody cares. So, 
This Heimdall is the newest of the Titans. Why is it only place five? I'll show you. It is a very good supporter, able to uh, support anybody within 100 meters of you, give them extra speed, extra health, and even in its other mode, called Golden Horn, is able to give them extra damage. Why? If it's so good, why is it so low? As you can see here, just healing up an entire heartbeat after he teleports back. The problem with it is, it's not very strong as a face on brawler. And while being fast, it can easily be taken down by the robots. It, does, it has a physical shield, which is strong, but not too strong. It's enough to keep you through a little bit, but once that is broken, it's kind of useless. Other than that, it has a strong built-in weapon which is able to fire like a basilisk and it has a built-in rocket launcher similar to Zar, which is able to suppress people the best weapons on this are mid-range or short-range weapons as you can see it tearing through an Orochi coming in at number four the bigger brother in support the Nodens the Nodens is able to heal up anybody from 700 meters away and is, is the fourth Titan to be implemented into the game uh, able to blind this guy over there, turn around, heal this guy, turn around, suppress that guy. The Noden can do it all. Able to support your friends from up to 700 meters away. And if your friends, well, they don't have enough health, the enemy's just doing too much damage, you can use the disposal to do a little bit of damage. That's not the main thing. It suppresses your enemies by uh, 50%. So they do way less damage to your friends. Also, it has really good support, but unlike the Heimdall, this is not a robot you want to mess with. The Nodens having high resistance and high HP, gaining more resistance when it links to his friends, is a very strong baller. Medium weapons and cl even close range weapons, but I would say just mainly the Dazzlers, or I mean Lanterns here, are the best choice. Able to heal up anybody across the map, blind people over there, and it's just an overall really good Titan. But, Who's going to be getting the bronze medal in the top three? Coming in at number three, taking that bronze medal and running, you know, running everywhere, taking Kepri's along with it is the Minos. The Minos, it, it has the lowest firepower, yes. It has pretty good health, standard health. So what makes it so good? Mainly it's Reflector. This is one of two Titans that has the Reflector and the reflector is a very strong ability it cannot be by test bypassed by titans for one and it has basically gives it almost invincibility not invincible but your enemies would rather shoot at someone else than a reflecting minos also for speed this thing is insane kill one guy there dash over here kill this guy here and then oh no an orbital strike is coming in well we just activate the reflector and run out of here and then we can just run back in later. But coming in at place one and two, why one and two or two and one? I'll tell you why. But first, the Motomets is an insane Titan used by a lot of people. You go into the pro matches, there is Motomets everywhere in here. Why? I'll tell you. The Motomets can fly up in stealth, the only Titan with stealth kind of making it invincible to other titans if they don't have quantum sensor. This titan is insane with its firepower and its built-in ability to EMP other robots so they can't even do anything. You EMP them, fly up, and they're basically dead before you even kill them. This robot is the smallest titan, giving it an easy chance to survive and thrive behind a smaller structure and is the f one of the fastest titans as well. Also, why did I place it as one and two? Well, it depends on your depends on your playstyle. I would easily rank the Motomets as number one in the Titans, but some of you guys would actually disagree with that and easily place it as number uh, two and put the Luchador higher. Here's the thing. Would you rather jump on your opponents and just do as much damage as you can in a face brawl and just have full on health? Or would you kind of stay back and just do a lot of damage and fly up and kind of be invincible and just fly up at times and do as much damage as you can. Well, that's the difference between the two. One is you take all the damage. The other one is you try and take, um, you know, 
as little damage as you can. The Motomets being a very strong Titan, able to fly up, but the Luchador having multiple reflectors and multiple abilities. So, it really depends on your playstyle. What you should use on the Muramets, don't use close range uh, weapons like the shotguns. It is not very good at close range, but use medium range weapons. Preferably the new Gargantra and Pantagrel, the, uh, as you're seeing here, which I think are the best all rounder, able to blind this guy. This guy would easily kill me, but I blind him and he can't do anything. The Dazzler Lantern or the Basilisk and Crate. Coming in at place one and two, as I just explained, is the Luchador. The Luchador being the crazy insane titan with way too much health and a bunch of reflectors. This thing is the face out brawler along with Minos. Having a, the jump ability to jump across the entire map and just shotgun another titan in the face, this titan is very powerful. Able to brawl out almost everything. The recommended setups for this are short range uh, weapons like Cinder or the shotguns as you can see here killing that guy behind me and then using the mothership which charges up very fast to the cinders killing that guy with cinders and that guy he's he thinks he's run away he's gonna hide under there he thinks huh the luchador it's very slow can't get me here but we'll just use that jump um, boop we've crossed 200 meters in just a couple of seconds dealing damage on arrival and suppression and this guy thinks he can just run away but nope, my shotgun is going to take care of that shield very quickly. Uh, the Muramets, no, I'm sorry, I'm still on the Muramets. The Luchador is a very powerful Titan, massive health and massive resistance, and it even has a unique thing when you upgrade it, which reduces or increases the amount of HP you can actually repair. It's using the Mantis or Northlight is insane with this. Also, a funny thing here, is I actually die to a luchador using a luchador. So you can see that this is a very powerful titan. Uh, thanks for watching and also comment down below if you would have ranked these um, titans as I did rank them or if you would actually rank the Muramets or the luchador number one. I'd like to see how you guys play it out.